Couldn't we have him reborn? Oh no, come on, Jonas, don't turn freaky now. Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... It's getting worse, Jonas. The sun's coming up soon. I think we're running out of time. Yeah. Um, look, it's scary. Scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just, I think it would have been cool, us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. Oh, Jonas, you big sap. Okay, all right, that's all, nothing to see here. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way, there's no, you don't have to put it like, it would have been whatever to live together. We are going to live together, and you're someday soon going to eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight, but... You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Who's Ash- Oh, you mean Amanda? My really good- Yeah, that Amanda, who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, cause whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. <sighs> just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and just so you know, I uh, took your advice about Clarissa. I'm not going to see her anymore. I don't know. I don't know if it ever really... Well, maybe... I don't know, maybe give it a shot. I mean, you guys must have dated to start for a reason, right? No, I think it was the right call, and, like, even if I wanted her back, I think she'd see me differently now. It's pretty well and broken. And she's depressed all the time. I really didn't want this to make it worse. <sighs> Come on, let's get to the century before the last boat comes. I gotta get the, uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Oh, get off it. I would love if people gave me the benefit of the doubt even once, but no. What do I hear? Alex got the weird genes. 
Well, you did get Mom's creepy ankles, so... Uh, let's head back before Karen strands us here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, it was hard? I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Well, I could have told you that. When we moved from the Upper West Side, I cried for weeks that I'd given away my chunky monkey doll to charity. Yeah, biggest mistake of your life, I'm sure. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. 